A set is a collection of distinct objects. In this video, we will refer to an object in a set as an element of the set. For example, we could have a set containing numbers, a set containing geometric shapes, or a set containing chores I am ignoring by making this video. In each of these sets, we have a collection of distinct elements. Basically, no element appears more than once within our set. Now let's go over two of the most common notations that are used to define a set in mathematics. When we have a small number of elements or a simple pattern for the elements our set contains, we use roster notation to define the set. Roster notation lists all the elements in the set separated by commas between two curly brackets. Set A here is in roster notation and has a finite number of elements. This set N, the set of natural numbers, is in roster notation but has an infinite number of elements. Notice the pattern established by the first three elements. We see positive numbers increasing by one, and what we do is we imagine this pattern continuing towards positive infinity. This dot 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 tells us to continue in this fashion indefinitely. So this set contains an infinite number of elements, basically all of the positive integers. Here are a few more examples of roster notation. This particular set is a special set which contains no elements. We just see curly braces with nothing in between, or no elements within it. This set is referred to as the empty set. This symbol is used to represent the empty set. When working with sets and doing different operations like unions or intersections, sometimes the result will be an empty set. Moving on, set builder notation is also used to define sets. This is used when the items in the set may have multiple conditions, or it is just easier slash shorter than listing out all the elements, like in roster notation. Set builder notation lists the conditions that must be met for an element to be contained within the set. For example, this set J is in set builder notation. This vertical line stands for such that. Knowing this, I can now read this as the set J contains any element X such that x is an integer and x is greater than or equal to 5. Everything that follows this vertical line are the conditions that define the elements in our set. Our elements must be integers and also greater than or equal to 5. These two conditions tell us that the roster notation form of this set j would look like this. Here are some more examples of set builder notation. Just like roster notation, set builder notation could be used to define sets with a finite or infinite number of elements. It is sometimes more convenient to define a set based on the conditions of the elements instead of listing out all the elements one by one. To see more videos involving sets, check out this playlist here. I'm Joe, and thanks for spending some time with me.